Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this TFlex CAD training course and the topic for today will be blending surfaces. Uh, so the surface blending operation lets you create uh, a blend uh, between two sets of faces. There are also a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, you have a lot of control with this function. Um, and uh, for the full uh, description of functions and options, uh, again, I, uh, I think it's, it, it would be wise to see the theoretical side because we will see the highlights in this video. Um, uh, regarding the command, uh, I think it is important to understand that you should not consider this operation as an alternative to uh, the conventional edge blending that we've seen in our previous video. Uh, these are two different approaches for the same purpose and uh, each one of them have advantages and limitations. So both of the operations are uh, a complement uh, of each other. Um, so um, to uh, make a couple of examples, I've created uh, this uh, model and uh, I would like to show you a couple of options. So the idea in here, um, the, the previous uh, command, uh, the normal edge blend that we can explain as being a, a solid edge blend because it's more uh, focused on a traditional uh, filleting or blending in solids. These two operations, the face-to-face -face and the three-face, um, are more uh, like uh, it was used to do um, in terms of surfaces, but applying these to solids. So, face-to-face. -face. So, the idea uh, it is to uh, apply uh, a blending to uh, two sets of um, of, of surfaces okay so we will uh, mention first set and you we have the normal in here um, second set can be this one this one and this one and you must pay attention to the normal which you can revert if it is the case okay so we will apply a, a value for the radius and if you say this then uh, the command will execute. So this is the concept and uh, as you may understood uh, this has a fundamental um, difference because we can define uh, not the edge but the sets of elements and with this we can do a lot of different things. Uh, so again blend and then we have uh, a couple of uh, different types of options. Uh, this first group that defines the type of blend. Uh, we have a uh, disc rolling ball and this special one isoprometric that is used specially for turbine uh, elements. Uh, the other two are um, they depend on the direction uh, of the guide. So uh, we have a couple of drawings uh, on, on the theoretical course explaining exactly this. Then we can define also uh, the execution of the blending as a constant radius, as a variable radius, and you know the difference already because we explained it in the previous video. Or instead of a constant radius, a constant wide. And um, when we have a constant radius, the system, uh, independent of what we are blending, will look only for the radius that is applying. If it is the wide, then the limits of the blending will be always the same. And even uh, if, if necessary, the system will uh, change uh, the, the limits or the bounds or whatever you can call it. Uh, then we have these functions here, the notch, which uh, basically will uh, let you apply um, 
these blendings in, in, in places that uh, they do not fit, okay, it's a special thing, and the propagate also, uh, we've seen something similar uh, in, the, uh, in the normal edge blending, <coughs> as this uh, uh, recognizes uh, the tangent edges. Um, then we have the shapes, also we can have uh, conic shape, chamfer shape or continuous curvature, you know this already also, and how to execute uh, the trims because um, there are places or situations where uh, we can have these faces to wall or not trim at all, or when these sets of groups do not uh, finish on the exact same location uh, to do a trimming by the long trimming or short trimming which is in this particular case the longer entity or the shorter entity uh, and we can have results separate bodies uh, trim walls uh, or create a new body or whatever uh, finally uh, presenting all the solutions and uh, a couple of examples that uh, I've done to test these functions. So we've seen this uh, normal possibility with a small radius that uh, fit in this uh, step, but we have a possibility to uh, apply a, a bigger radius than this one. In this particular case, uh, it is uh, radius 5, but I will apply a big radius. So bounds, I can have several possibilities for bounds. I will say cliff and I can define uh, edges to be the cliff edges. In this particular case can be these ones. And uh, if I apply these uh, big cliff edges, I can make, you see, a big radius which uh, I can um, define also with the streamings in this particular case it will have no meaning but I can apply this kind of uh, possibility which uh, on a normal uh, solid uh, edge blending it is not possible. Uh, one other case that I can apply with these functions um, it is the possibility to trim, to apply a trim plan. So, for example, I can say um, another situation. So, the first one, the second is this one. Okay, the normals are pointing to the inside. I can make a bigger um, radius. And now I can apply, um, for example, I can say trimming plan. So, I can say, for example, this one and the second trimming plan, this one. So, you see, I can apply um, uh, edge blending uh, only uh, partially uh, on this edge, okay, which is another uh, very nice possibility uh, that it's not possible on a normal uh, edge blending. Uh, then we have uh, some other specific situations that I can uh, make with this three-phase uh, blending. The principle here is the same, but in this particular case, the idea is that we can have three sets of uh, entities. So uh, it is uh, very uh, used in this kind of uh, ribs to apply uh, blendings on the on the on the edges, but I can make uh, this uh, blending with a special option, which is called a guide spine, that uh, in some way will change uh, the final look um, of 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 the of the blending of of what is uh, created. So, uh, if I do it first without any options. So first set, it is pointing on the other place. The center set, it will be built uh, through these uh, three entities. And the third one will choose this one. So if I apply it now, uh, there is no need to uh, choose a radius in this particular situation because uh, we have only one solution. So if I apply, you see, we have a very uh, nice uh, 
blending that uh, fits or touches the three uh, sets of entities. But I can change a little this condition and I can create, uh, and this will work only with uh, these 3D paths. I can make a 3D path that will affect uh, the direction and uh, the shape of uh, this entity created. So a uh, three face blend, again, I will choose the same sets of entities and on the right and I would say now spline and I will choose this entity here and apply. So the first thing you can notice is that uh, these uh, connected uh, entities on the blend they are not so uh, defined and you see that the radius is not uh, circular so this is done considering the direction of this path so it affects a little what is done there are other situations where i can have uh, uh, more uh, distribution done uh, by the path but i think this particular case it's a good example of what uh, it's, uh, it is achieved with this uh, 3D path. So basically, these were um, the conditions I had in my mind to show you a couple of options for this surface blending. Um, I hope these uh, examples were clear enough to show you uh, some possibilities of this type of command. Uh, there are many other examples. Again, please consult our theoretical side because you have a lot of figures there and uh, uh, animations to show also these uh, other examples. Anyway, uh, if you need some help, anything less clear, contact us because uh, we will explain and help you according to whatever you may need.